local Korean War veterans hold an honorary memorial for their fallen comrades this morning. Philip Reed was at the emotional service and joins us now with more. Phil? Sabrina, the Korean War was fought between 1950 and 1953. It was a conflict between communist North Korea and anti-communist South Korea. Today marks 60 years since the war ended. Here in Rockford, veterans pay, reunited to pay respects to those lost in battle. July 27, 1953, the day U.S. General Mark Clark signed an armistice putting an end to the Korean War. I pledge allegiance to the flag. On the signing 60th anniversary, the Korean War Veterans Association held an honorary ceremony. It's a war they say costs more than 32,000 American lives. We, of course, do this to pay honor to not only to our comrades, but to all veterans of all wars, uh, even the young people today that are in harm's way. George F. Roos. The Korean War is often called the Forgotten War, but local vets beg to differ. They say it was the first time Americans were able to defeat communism. About 15 years ago, one of the local radio stations was talking about Memorial Day, and they mentioned World War I, World War II, Vietnam, etc. Every they didn't even mention Korea. The Korean War was the first time all races fought together. Herbert Jackson says there was some prejudice at the time, but soldiers were more focusing on protecting each other. Look, all, all I'm worrying about, you on my right and he's on my left, and we're trying to survive. You know, whether you be black, white, or otherwise. And the bond they share will last a lifetime, regardless of race. What we're doing is honoring uh, our fallen brothers. And I like to call them brothers because that's what they are. We're all brothers. Brothers are one. Now, state liners wanting to pay respects to Korean War vets or any vets of that nature can visit the Field of Honor Veterans Memorial that's located in Loves Park. Sabrina. Thanks, Phil.